In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a moon jump video with the Insta360 ONE X, the bullet time handle and the ONE X app so you can make a video that looks like this. Step 1. Set up the ONE X. Mount the ONE X onto the bullet time handle, place it on the ground and set the ONE X to 3K 100 frames per second video mode. Step 2. Jump over the ONE X. Run up to the ONE X and jump. Try jumping as many times as you can and try different jumps and do something crazy. Step 3. Edit the moon jump video. First trim the part of the footage you want to keep. It's best to start the video when you start running and stop the video before you stop running. The next thing I'm going to do is remove the bullet time handle from the nadir. To do this set the aspect ratio to 1x1 one one and take a screenshot of the nadir. And the first app I am going to use is called Snapseed. Open Snapseed and import the screenshot you just took. Go to Tools, Healing and swipe over Bullet Time Handle. It has now disappeared. Tap the tick and export your nadir. Next I am going to use Photoshop Mix to create a feathered transparent background around the nadir and this will make the nadir patch less obvious. To do this open Photoshop Mix Tap the plus button, device and tap the nadir you just exported from Snapseed. Tap cut out and make sure feather is set to 3 quarters of the way. Now with your finger make a circle in the middle. And tap the tick to confirm. Now with two fingers pinch the screen inwards to make the nadir about 50% smaller. Tap the share icon and save to gallery. Next, you are going to patch the Nadir in the ONE X app. To do this, open the ONE X app, go to Settings, Nadir Logo, User Defined, tap the plus button and tap the Nadir you just exported from Photoshop Mix. The reason I told you to make it 50% smaller is so the Nadir fits in this circle. If it's bigger than this circle, then the edges will appear solid instead of feathered. Tap Next, adjust the size to 150% and tap Confirm. Now go back into your footage. I am going to change the aspect ratio to 9 by 16 wide for Instagram stories. In the option select logo on and now when you look at your nadir the bullet time handle has vanished. The next step is to turn your jump into a moon jump. To do this go to the point where you are just about to jump into the air Hold down anywhere on the screen and tap Viewfinder. Tap the tiny planet button to turn your video into a tiny planet. Now on some phones you can just drag down to turn your tiny planet into an inverted tiny planet. But I've got the Samsung S8 and it doesn't let me do that. So instead what I need to do is put my both thumbs on the screen. I need to tilt the phone towards the ceiling. Pull my thumbs apart and it will turn into an inverted tiny planet. Put yourself at the bottom of the inverted tiny planet. Press record and let go just before you touch the ground. Your moon jump is now recorded. Tap the tick to confirm. The next step is to add a pivot point at the beginning and end of the video so the ONE X knows where to follow my movement. To do this just tap play to reset the view. Scroll back to the beginning. Create a pivot point in the middle of you. Scroll to the end of the video and create another pivot point in the middle. The next step is to add speed. To do this go to the beginning of your video, tap edit, speed, select 4 times, drag the speed until a little before the moon jump. This gap will create a nice slow smooth transition from the run up to the moon jump. Leave a little gap after the moon jump, select 4 times speed and drag it all the way to the end of the video and tap the tick to confirm. Now press play to play back your edit. Finally go to export, local and export.
That's it, you now know how to make a moon jump video. And I'd love to see what you make, so don't forget to tag me.